So here we'll discuss how we can convert the NAND gate into XOR and XNOR gate. Okay. So first let us see what is the output of a XOR gate. Okay. So this is the schematic symbol of an XOR gate. We give inputs A and B and the output of the XOR gate is given by B equal to A bar B or B A A B bar ok this this is the output of the XOR gate and the XNOR gate is the complement of the output of the XOR gate ok just a extra bubble is added this is X which is simply the complement of XOR if we will complement it we will get the XNOR expression so we have to get these two outputs using NAND gate ok so let us see how we can do that so first <coughs> the XOR output expression it is given as A complement B or A B complement. Okay. So if we whole complement, double complement this whole expression, we complement it twice. We are taking the complement of this expression twice. It means that. So here you would remember the De Morgan's theorem about OR expression. It says that if we take the whole complement of uh, OR expression, we will get something like this. Okay. This is the De Morgan's theorem. The whole complement of a OR expression will give us the individual complements and it together. So, this will be used here. So, here this expression can be written as you know, A complement B whole complement and A B complement whole complement. Okay, this I am talking about this portion, this much. Then we have another whole complement on top that will be there. So this expression can be used to design XOR and XNOR gate using NAND gate. Now the reason why we did that is because here this OR, sim this or symbol is present, the OR operation and it would be very difficult to convert uh, NAND gate into XOR gate and XNOR gate using this expression because this OR symbol can create problems, can create difficulties. But if we convert this OR into AND, into an AND type expression, we can easily design the XOR gate and XNOR gate using NAND gate because NAND gate is all about AND the product, it is all about multiplication, it is about AND, it is just the complement of AND. So here you see all the terms that are present, they are in multiplication form, they are in product form, A bar B into A B bar, this, this term is in product form, it is multiplied, this term also it is in product form, this whole term is in product form, this AND form. So this expression can be easily designed using NAND gate, okay, so we will use this expression to convert a NAND gate into a XOR and XNOR gate. Okay, so let us do that.
so let us write it separately okay the expression that we are going to implement is is this the whole complement ended with a b bar whole complement and then we have another whole complement this expression we have to implement okay so first let us see at the individual terms if you can look at this expression you will see that the terms that are going to be used are first is a then is b then is a bar then is b bar then we have a bar b whole complement means a complement and with b whole complement then a b bar whole complement and the final expression that is a bar b whole bar and with a bar whole complement there so we have to break it down into this whole expression in this way so we have to generate these signals okay this will be the signal which will be independent but now we have to convert this into a complement b complement then we have to get this signal this signal and then the whole signal okay so let us see so first <clears throat> we have let us say two signals a and b okay we have to convert them into a complement we got the signal a complement then another signal b will give a shorted input to another nand gate which will give us b complement okay so we got a complement and b complement now the expression that we have to generate is a complement and with b the whole bar okay so here we have a complement and here we'll take b okay okay we took b here and a complement and gave it to a nand gate and we got a complement b whole complement the next signal which we have to generate is a and with b complement whole complement so we have a here and b complement here so we'll take his and we'll give it to another nand gate and we get a b complement whole complement okay so we got the two isolated and in the independent expressions now we have to perform the and and the complement of these two signals we can easily do that by giving it to another nand gate which will give us the required output it will be complement b whole complement a b complement whole complement yes which is the required xor operation which is the required output of the xor gate so you see how we did this first the objective whenever you get any expression then you have to implement it using the universal gate nand gate or nor gate or any other gate the first thing which we have to do is to convert the expression in a into a certain format which can be 
easy to implement using that gate. See here we are using NAND gate. So we have to convert the XOR expression into product form. So we did that using De Morgan's theorem. Next you have to identify as the individual isolated signals. Here the isolated signals are first we have to generate A bar, B whole complement, this signal, then A, B bar, whole complement, then you perform the operation. So here we did just that. First we generated A complement, then B complement, then we generated this signal A complement and with B complement whole complement, then A ended with B complement whole complement and then we performed the final NAND operation and we got the required XOR output. Okay. Next, if we just add another NAND gate here, okay, we add another NAND gate here. There is no space, that's why I have to draw it like this. Okay, we are giving shorted inputs or equal inputs to another NAND gate. This will be the XOR output complement, which is the XNOR output. So we converted the NAND gate to both XOR and XNOR. So the conversion into XNOR is simple, just invert the output of the XOR gate by adding another NAND gate and giving equal inputs or shorted signal to it. These two inputs are shorted. So we got the output of the XNOR gate. Okay, this is the required XNOR output. Okay, so this is how we have converted a NAND gate into XOR gate first, then using another extra NAND gate, we inverted the expression and got the XNOR gate. Okay. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.